Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of uh, Faulty Logic's podcast. Today, this is Dan. Uh, Wayne here. Billy is not with us today. He's on vacation, but we do have another special guest, and her name is Tao. Uh, Tao, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Tao Trin, and I'm a student at U of T. Uh, two, three lines about myself. I have two very cute dogs, and I live in North York. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you, your stalker level just went up. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I guess we decided to have a little bit of fun this week in terms of uh, what we're talking about. I guess it is still relevant uh, in our current social medias and everything like that. And we're going to talk about the the age-old debate of pineapple or no pineapple on your pizza. <laughs> I think everyone here, we all love pineapple on our pizza, right? Yeah. Because I never understood this hate against uh, pineapple on pizza because I always see memes now saying... How, how do those mean goes? Pretty much, you're, you're fucking wrong for, for, for putting uh, pineapple on it. And it's like, yeah. it's barbaric. I see, that I, barbaric meme. I've seen one Instagram picture where uh, the guy ordered a pizza. And then in the pizza, he opened the box. And there's a $5 bill stuck to it. And there's a, a, it's written, sorry, I don't believe in pineapple on pizza. So here's a little oh. bit of money back. <laughs> what <Whoa>. a fucker. <laughs> how pissed off would you be if you ordered pizza and they did that? You know, throw the pizza back or... <laughs> Tell them to go get me a fresh pineapple. I guess the main debate people always talk about is that, like, they think it's, like, pizza is supposed to be very Italian, you know? Like, you have, like, the olives in there, salamis, all of that. And then, you know, you just have a random other ingredient, like pineapple in there, and kind of, they call it uncultured, but I don't see it. But, no, I like I like pineapple on my pizza. The only controversy I can find online that they're saying is that pineapple is a fruit, because you don't really think of, there's any other fruit uh, as a topping. Isn't the tomato a fruit? Yeah, yeah there's that. Yeah, and then there's also all of that's a fruit because right? it has seeds inside. Anything olives. with seeds. Is... I don't like olives either. What? I'm, I'm okay with. Okay, we need to I like all, I like olive bread. I like uh-huh. pineapple on my pizza. I don't like pineapple on its own uh-huh. so much. What? What? Because it's so You're acidic. Crazy. No, it's acidic, <laughs> and, it, and it cuts my tongue. Oh. That's why I don't eat it. Oh, that's, yeah, that's if you eat too much of it, you cut your tongue. No, I don't eat any because I hate that shit. Um, I I think olives are okay. Black olives are okay in moderation. I'm not a big fan of the green olives. Black olives are great, yeah. Yeah. But uh, one thing that one of my old coworkers uh, introduced to me, usually when I order pizza, um, my three toppings are pepperoni, Italian sausage, and mushroom. Mm-hmm. Very easy. Got to get a little bit of vegetables in there. Very easy. Um, and my coworker introduced me. We had a five-topping pizza at work. The two extra toppings we got were one was pineapple, and the second one was the hot peppers or the banana peppers. And those in combination was like the craziest combination I ever had. It was so good. And I don't like hot peppers. First off, I don't believe in putting more than three toppings on a pizza. Because yeah, that's just too much. Too much. Number two, have either of you ever had um, tomato? Sliced tomato on your pizza as yes. a topping? Oh, yeah. I think it's stupid. That shit's bomb. What? what? It's so good, Dan. I think yeah, it's so, so stupid. Good. I already have tomato in my sauce. I went to Florence in uh, Italy, and what they do, they gave me a margarita pizza, mm-hmm. but they put like a whole like piece of cheese on there, like a mozzarella whole piece of Goat cheese. cheese, I think? Uh, no, not really. Oh. It's just like a whole lump of mozzarella, and then they put a to- like whole piece of sliced tomato on it. It's the best pizza I've had. Really? Yeah, it was delicious. Hmm. That's so, interesting. Um, mm-hmm. Well, for me, like cheese and more tomatoes I never add on because I feel like I'm already supposed to get that. Feels like you're getting ripped off, doesn't <laughs> exactly. it? Exactly. Feels like when you see extra cheese, I'm like, then you think about, well, they have already put this much cheese if I didn't order it. Yeah. That's why I, I guess I have that bias towards it and I won't get tomatoes on my pizza. But I don't know. It's, it's okay. I've had, I've had tomato on my pizza. It's okay. What are your favorite three toppings on no, your pizza? No, hold on. Before we go past this, I just want to okay. say I do not like that fucking um, president. President or prime minister from Iceland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh. that bitch said... Oh, yeah, I hope... Not a bitch. I don't want him to get assassinated. <laughs> like, he, like, he just threw it out there saying if he can, he, he would ban pineapple on pizza. Who, who the fuck says that? <laughs> not just in Trudeau. A lot of people say that. <laughs> and then he comes back saying, oh, I was just joking. Uh, I wouldn't want to live in a country like that, so... Yeah, right, so, go on. Uh, Justin Trudeau rebuttaled a little bit. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about how he was uh, pro-pineapple on pizza. And people in... Uh, in the states where like their heads were exploding they're like oh my god we thought this guy was cool and all of a sudden like we hate him right but uh yeah he supports it because the hawaiian pizza which is uh bacon crumble ham and pineapple 
It was invented in like southern Ontario. Yes. Where, where I we're think from. I saw Chatham and or whatever that is. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, it's it's not far from us. Wait, so can you guys explain to me first? Why is it a, a Hawaiian pizza? Yeah, I can that, only think of the uh, pineapple. Just maybe. the pineapple. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know if there's pineapple in Hawaii. Is, wait, is there? <laughs> I don't I, know. I I think so. Like, oh, do we see a lot of swine run, run, running around? Like swine? pigs? Uh, well, maybe. Maybe. I've never been to Hawaii. I mean, I. <laughs> We're so basic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I never understood why is it uh, Hawaiian pizza is more like China than Hawaii. It's Hawaii, Canadian right? bacon. Yeah. No, it's not. I don't know where that came from either. It's created in Canada, but then called Hawaiian pizza. I know. Why do we give them so much credit? <laughs> Shit. But uh, yeah. So. I don't know. Hawaiian school with me. We're eating a Hawaiian pizza right now. Not sponsored by Regino's Pizza. But please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty damn good. You'll, you'll see a picture posted on Instagram either tomorrow or yesterday. <laughs> tomorrow or yesterday? <laughs> Alright, so so back to uh, the original question. Three toppings on your pizza. What do you have to go with? If you were stuck with these three toppings for the rest of your life. Oh. Mm. How you go first? I have to think okay, about this. Okay. Um. Well, mine's gonna sound really gross, but then I'm just gonna throw in like three of my favorite. Sure. Stuff. Not um, necessarily in combination, you mean? Uh no. Or can they are in combination. I don't even care. Like. Okay. Okay. So definitely olives, pineapple, <laughs> and then you guys are gonna hate me for this, but definitely cheese because I'm a cheese person and I don't even want to think about that. You know. Wait. This is on top of the cheese you're supposed to get though. Uh yeah. Okay. So, so extra, extra cheese. cheese. Okay. If it's super stringy. Then okay, I'll make an exception <laughs> for it because I like super stringy pizza. It's not super stringy cheese. anymore. You know how you always see it in the depends. commercials. I think it depends. You don't get that anymore. Depends though. where you go. Because yeah. I went to, I'm gonna plug another local pizza place that I really like. It's called Richie's in uh, in Vaughan. Mm -hmm. This place makes some damn good pizza, and we added a, uh, I added extra cheese and uh, we had just cheese and pepperoni. That's it. Mm -hmm. And it was stringy as hell. Super stringy. Like it just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you have to, like, cut it with your hand or something. Those only it's happen like in dreams for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like gourmet pizza, so stringy cheese is not an option, I don't think. But oh, uh, a good pizza place I know, or Italian restaurant, <clears throat> is... Uh, you want to go to Gusto 101 on King Street. On that King place, Street? Yeah, that place is amazing. Holy what, crap. What about you, Wind? Your three toppings. Okay, I haven't had three toppings in a long time, because <laughs> I'm so cheap. I'm always the one getting the uh, one-topping walk-in or pick up special right right it would always be a talent hot sausage and on one side would be topped with barbecue sauce <laughs> and you combine them no, no no it's only half <laughs> because i'm the only one that likes the barbecue sauce oh, okay okay <laughs> but other than that i like bacon strips and pineapple and well, more meats before <laughs> this i guess you you kind of wanted us to tell a crazy pizza story why don't you start dan okay so uh in regards to crazy pizza stories it's not really crazy but uh there's a, a, a co-worker that had all these stories are for my co-workers but basically they're in college it's like a frat party and stuff like that and what they used to do is they would order a shit ton of pizzas to this party specifically like Toronto streets or Scarborough streets mm -hmm. they were ordered to a house and I'm gonna say it was just like Eglinton or something Yeah. but then the street is actually supposed to be Ellesmere mm -hmm. so they would give the address correctly and then wait um, wait wait, wait. How, how is that correctly? <laughs> wait okay. they gave the wrong address? they gave the wrong address intentionally so oh, the correctly. delivery driver okay. wouldn't be able to deliver on time so that they got everything for free. <gasps> oh. like. But then they gave their address wrong, so how would they be able to argue against that? Because they don't pull the calls and stuff like that. Wait, well, like, how they would they find... The calls. Like, how would they find them after the fact? Like, No, they call and it's like, yo, where's my pizzas? Oh, right? fuck that shit. And it's like, isn't it at this, this address? And it's like, no, it's at this address, right? Yeah. Whoa, yeah, so, so they were mean. telling you that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a douche move. <laughs> that, like, screws over everyone, you yeah. know, yeah. other than them. Because and it's a frat party. There's, like, like what, 60-something pizzas probably they're ordering? Because I think the policy back then, it's um, for the delivery guy. The delivery guy first, pays. For, no, first one late, yeah. owner pays. Like, the owner of the pizza shop. The rest is on the delivery guy. So that's fine. Oh. That is messed up, man. <clears throat> that is messed up. But... Mm. Oh, I have one crazy pizza story of mine. A uh, year ago, we were we lived around the Eglinton area, and uh, so that one night we wanted to order pizza like normal average college kids, and uh, we ordered it from Pizza Pizza that's close by. It's like two five minutes away from our house. Mm -hmm. Well, then there was a shooting, and then we never got a pizza, uh, <laughs> and until until now. But sad. I don't even feel sad for myself because oh, what the hell they. 
They were shooting yeah, fire. So shit. like, I, I don't even want to ask for the pizza now. <laughs> what was Plan B? Huh? Uh, actually, we had ramen in the house, so that was cool okay. Too. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Any stories on your end? Nothing happened to me, but I've heard stories back then. Uh, I knew people that lived in a certain ghetto downtown. I won't name it, but uh, I, I've heard a lot of people, uh, like the people I knew, what they would do is um, they'll order the pizza, but have the guy meet them at a corner. What? So it's either they jump the pizza guy or they give him a fake bill and just bounce. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So that way free pizza right that's messed up oh it is <laughs> all right so what's the worst pizza you guys ever had i'm not saying the worst uh like they fucked up on the pizza and you're eating like burnt cancer or nothing <laughs> i'm saying it's like they intentionally made the pizza the way it is and they believe it tasted amazing but you think it's shit i can't say i've ever had like terrible pizza that i've ordered before um the worst pizza that i've ever had was probably those frozen out of the box stuff that you make yourself delicious not delicious, but there's other brands out there that are pretty trash. Well, you're getting trash pizza, you're gonna get right. trash food. Exactly. So that's what I would have for my worst pizza experience, I would say. Mm-hmm. For myself, it's any pizza with arugula on it. Those bitter. So bomb. Those artisanal oh pizza. Gosh. Like oh. I, like I'll be the person with the knife and fork eating that pizza because <laughs> you need everything one bite. Oh yeah. No, I can't handle the bitter leaves on there. It just throws me off completely. Oh, you're not enjoying life. No, maybe not. <laughs> for, for me, the worst shit I've ever had is uh, Boston Pizza. And they have one pizza called um, pierogi pizza. Okay. Oh, those chunky ones, all right? Chunky. The chunky pierogi pizza. I think I've had one of them before, but like they're... There's like pierogies in the crust. Is that right? No, no, no. no. What? No, what? what? That's crazy. Pierogi in the crust. Yo, I, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> but no, 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 it was disgusting. No, so it's too thick. so the pizza itself is supposed to replicate a a pierogi. Ah, okay. Right. So it's instead. I think it was instead. Of, so you have the. I think they still have the cheese on top. Mm-hmm. But underneath the cheese and stuffed tomato sauce, you had some cream sauce and sliced potato. Yeah. Shit was was dry <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> So it ruined my whole fucking day. So fuck you, Boston Pizza. <laughs> but we're still open to sponsorships. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> we're very good people. You know, all this pizza talk was making me think about um, something from my childhood. Um, pizza pockets. Oh. I just had this morning. What? At 6.30 in the morning. I haven't had it in so long. I was kind of well, craving one well, now. I was talking to Billy <laughs> when he, while he's in China. I'm talking to him while eating pizza pockets. <laughs> what the hell? I've never had pizza pockets. What? Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> gotta get you some pizza pockets. Have you guys heard? Okay, Dad, you haven't heard of Pizza G, have you, Tao? Pizza mm-hmm. G, this happened around 2011. How old mm-hmm. are you? I <laughs> I am 20. <laughs> so 2011, you're 15. You should still I, be reading the news. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But I have no idea what you're talking about, though. Right, so this Pizza G, it's a pizza shop somewhere in the West End, okay? And what happened was they there was a drug raid. They had a mil- like a million dollars worth of like marijuana, cocaine, uh, and like, like I don't know here and like all the bad shit, right? Right. Uh-huh. But in the news, even though there was a ju- drug raid, all people can really talk about was how good the pizza is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I saw that, you know what? I I really want to go. That drug raid was probably did more for them than it did like bad. Now was it just the employees that were working there, or was it the like, actual right. owners and everything? <laughs> Was it all a whole front? That I'm not sure. But the thing is, they reopened. Oh. oh. So I'm assuming the owner sh- probably wasn't involved. Oh, he sold it. No, I think it was the same guy. That, oh. like, so Sounds like, you like know. some breaking bad ideal there. <laughs> no, but it's like the perfect business plan. You know what they did? They probably sprinkled some cocaine on the pizza so that people get addicted to it and they keep going back. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing that. That would be a genius. <laughs> it's expensive, but like in the long run, yeah, you make it back. Hopefully, you're not giving any audience any ideas. <laughs> I think this happens already in uh, some Asian places in the U.S. I think like yeah. Vietnamese noodle places, they sprinkle a little bit of cocaine in their thing. They got busted for it too. Very joking. Yeah, because people did drug tests. They're like, what the hell? Yeah, and then everyone was like connected to it. And they're like, oh, they brought it back down to this <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Middle of the day, they're like having withdrawals and they don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's like I need this. <laughs> <laughs> and then related to that too, with the drug dealing. Uh, recently, there's a story about uh, Burger King in the U.S. 
where people uh, were selling marijuana through the drive thru system. Happens all the time. I think it's the most fascinating shit ever. Like, this is this is legit entrepreneurship. <laughs> so how would they do it? Like, uh, sneak a uh, package of cocaine into a burger? So, so what they did was uh, they would have code words. Right. So I think they had two people that were in on it. And uh, if you already knew the people, they had a code name for the guy or something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, the way you would order it is you would ask for extra crispy fries. Sorry, fries extra crispy. <laughs> and uh, so you would, they would t- tell you to pull out on the side. And then the guy would come up with a cup of coffee. And inside the coffee yeah. would be the weed. Ah. So they got booked for it. It was a manager and an employee. Like oh, so it was a manager. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. I was like wondering, how can a manager allow this to happen? I'm like, I'm like not saying like about the selling the weed. Right. I'm saying how there must be an employee that's constantly running in and out <laughs> for like no reason. Just when and it's just so happened this it's with the people that's wants a uh, crispy fries, <laughs> right? Right, right. But I don't know. That's that's pretty smart. I thought it was pretty smart. So how did they I'm get impressed. busted? Did somebody actually want crispy fries and ended up? <laughs> it didn't say how they got busted, but uh, I think there was like undercover cops as well too. So mm. not no, you sure. Know what? To be honest, it, it's asking for crispy fries. In this, it's a win-win situation. If you don't get the drugs, at least you'll get crispy fries. And if the cops try to bust you, like I just want crispy fries. We're like what the fuck? But it's specifically fries extra crispy, not like can I get my. Fries. But what? they're at a Burger King. They they have crispy fries. If they were at True. like an ice cream shop asking for fries, then I'd question this. But then that'd be too obvious too, right? You go into an ice cream shop and be like, "Can I have some extra crispy fries, please?" <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I I think it's very smart and like it's funny because these like drug dealers stuff like that they have such great entrepreneurial minds, but they use it in such bad ways. But I do see the potential of the money there, so I don't blame them. It's yeah. a very profitable business. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing I don't get. If they're selling drugs, why the fuck are they still working at Burger King? Just, is this just to move their drugs? You need a front. Mm-hmm. Front for what? They don't have to clean the money. They're not buying real estate after this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the parents are like, yo, go get a job. It's like, I have a job. I work at Burger King. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, another thing about pizza, you were, uh, back in childhood, McDonald's. Oh, fuck, yeah. I know you wanted to talk about this. Tal, I think you're too young. No, I I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, that's all you, you have. No idea. <laughs> you have no idea about this McDonald's pizza. Because no. yeah, McDonald's oh used to have God. personal pizza. We've talked about this before, right? Yes. On our podcast. Yeah. That's crazy. What? But it was so long ago, I can't remember how it was. You know, I don't think I've ever actually had it. I've always <laughs> wanted it, but my parents won't let me buy. It. I've had it. Um, basically, it was like you know, right now the kids' pizzas at Pizza Hut, they're that size. They're four no, sizes. No, but they don't actually like. You can't order those, can you? Yeah, because yeah. I remember back then when I was in elementary school, you had to be in a, a fucking book club, and then you read a number of books, and, and they McDonald's? give you a voucher. No, 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 for a Pizza Hut, oh. and they give you a voucher for a personal pet pizza. Yeah, I don't see that shit on the menu. Do you? Is it? I don't see that, but the kids meals for little kids. Just kids meals at Pizza Hut. Yeah, they come with a little small pizza. It's like four slices. Fuck it. It's I, like maybe okay. five inches in diameter. Okay, I'm Five or six like inches. A small gonna, pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna confess I don't go pizza hut because I'm too cheap. <laughs> That's just too damn expensive for me. Okay, yeah. So I think I almost feel like the the McDonald's pizzas were like a partnership with Pizza Hut or something. I don't know, but they're almost identical. Like they look the same to me. I can't. And remember. the boxes look like Pizza Hut boxes. <laughs> I don't really know. I can't remember too because I was like really no, young. Man fucking McDonald's they've gone through a lot of different shit <clears throat> yeah Apparently, do you know I think it was even f- before my time there was um, a sandwich that they had where when you buy it they'll keep the dry stuff dry and the wet stuff wet well not not wet <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> no so they so they have the lettuce and the tomato on one side and the rest of the bread on the other side and then when you get it you put it together what the hell oh, is that this that shit's really old it's like my boss told me about this I was like fuck your old <laughs> oh, I didn't say church will kill me but yeah <laughs> it's like if you look at the com- there's commercials on YouTube but it looks so dated yeah right but yeah McDonald's now they're into the healthy fucking menu which is not too appealing that's not too healthy either I don't think have Do you, you bought have you bought salad from them hmm? yeah my best friend is a manager at McDonald's she told me and it's like kind of half ass <laughs> it's not that healthy <laughs> it's not it's not I checked the calories and stuff like that as well too you're getting like 800 calories in a salad. Speaking of mm-hmm. calories, you know what I really hate? 
all those new menus out there now that tells you the calorie count. Hold on, hold on. Speaking of the calorie count stuff, if you go to a fast food place and they tell you the calorie count, it's like 400 to 1,000. What the fuck is the calorie well, count? I, I don't need to know that shit. I, I've, I've come up to have a good time, not for you to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> right? I'm not out to count my calories if I'm going to a fast food restaurant. Right, right, right. And so, the, the, was there like a bill that passed? Because I just saw, I saw it overnight. I don't know if there's a bill that passed, but I know it's or a lot to do with... Do we use? Do we call it bills here? I think so. Oh, whatever. Go but, on. Uh, I think it's just because all these people, they want, they're going into the health craze. Yeah. And they feel like they're almost obligated to do it. Otherwise, they get complaints. But realistically, if you're a health nut, why the hell are you going to a fast food place in the first place? Mm-hmm. Right? Like, get off our shit. <laughs> um, in terms of pizza chains, chain stores or whatever, do you guys have a favorite? Your go-to pizza chain every time you order? My, I used to love Domino's until I came to Canada mm-hmm. and, you know, realized how crappy Domino's here is. But, like, yeah. the Domino's pizza... not that crappy here. Oh, I don't know. It's still There's... better than <laughs> Ontario's number one pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no... Like, uh, back in Vietnam, it's pretty funny because, like, every chain restaurant or, like, fast food restaurant is made so luxurious, you wouldn't even think that they're actually... Yes! <laughs> yes! I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Pizza Hut. Are you ta- yeah. Yeah, and McDonald's. We had we have a McDonald's open, like, I don't know, like, within two years already. And, like, I'm not kidding you. It's big. It's, like, a full size. You're sitting down to eat for dinner. Yeah. And, yeah. like, <laughs> So when you go to like Pizza that. Hut, is it, like, um... Like a fine dining restaurant? Kind of, yeah. It's like dim light and the ambience is like... (laughs) They give you a bowl for salad bar and then you stack that shit as high as you can, right? Yeah. And that's exactly what happened And then the waiters came and then they give you like the menu and then you're just ordering off pizza from the list. And people hold birthday parties. They're like big birthday party, like, you know, your sweet 16. It was so strange to me when I saw (laughs) this in China. The funny thing about this is that Wayne's story (laughs) is like a throwback to our very first episode ever. (laughs) You talk, about talk, you talk about this pizza and stacking I talked about it. I just kept on, yeah, like, <laughs> the very first yeah. episode. What the fuck? Like, Tom, have you seen on, online, You people post these pictures up on how high they can stack these salads. I, because no. they got one visit and they're Chinese oh. and it's cheap <laughs> as fuck. Oh, so they just trying to grab as much yeah. as they can. And I swear to God, they don't eat it. Oh, no. It's and just an art form. <laughs> <laughs> like, even when, when I had to do this, I'm like, okay, well, expand this plate so we have more space to pile shit on. So, so it has a structural integrity. Right. <laughs> so so we didn't get to the answer. Like, if it's not Domino's, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I like, you know, I like gourmet pizza, artisan so pizza. So fancy. Yeah, but you don't, like what fancy it has stuff. to be a chain. Wait, you don't even a like chain. arugula on your pizza. What the hell? Okay, that's, that shit's nasty, though. I can't. <laughs> so besides arugula, I don't like that. But in terms of chain, ooh, it's hard. It's not very hard. There's not that many here. Yeah, I know they're like three, but uh, like, I, 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 I'm just gonna have to go for Domino's, I guess. Okay. It's something popular. I always go for them. Wayne, because I'm so cheap. <laughs> it's Ontario's number one pizza, you but know. they're so bad. It's not that bad. I hate it. You know? It. Okay, okay. So, the problem I have with Pizza Hut, number one, it's, it's expensive. expensive. <laughs> yes. Number two, a lot of time is so fucking salty. Yes. Really? It's yeah. greasy and salty. Yeah. Yeah. It is greasy. I it's like they're, lie, they but... eat like some mother in salted butter or something. Oh. <laughs> right. Domino's. I like it after like the first like half of a pizza. Like when I try to finish the other half, I struggle. Yeah. Because something about it is so fluffy. and then It's I'm like, doughy. It's a yeah, very it's doughy. doughy. So it mm-hmm. fills you apart. So trying to finish a whole pizza on your own, it's, it's, it's a struggle. Yeah. Pizza, pizza. I try not to finish it because it's okay, only an okay pizza. Mm. So it lets me control my diet. <laughs> like, but I still eat it all. I still remember there was a, there was a phase in my life during high school. I think there was two weeks straight. I ordered like an extra large pizza every night. Yeah, and I finished it. Oh, That's geez. crazy. Minus one slice because my uncle had one. I can't do pizza pizza. Uh, I used to eat it all the time. Like when they first started that five dollar walk in deal for like a medium pepperoni pizza. Seven nine nine. No. Inflation, damn it. Uh, I used to have. Like, literally stacks of pizza boxes in my room. And, like, people would be like, yo, you're like a fucking Ninja Turtle. <laughs> 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 like, no. I would, like, make structures with the My pizza issue boxes. is, why aren't you throwing your garbage? <laughs> yo, that, that shit's gonna stink after, like, two days. Because <laughs> it would be, like, over a weekend. But, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, the funniest thing ever. And uh, now I can't even eat it anymore. Like, it, 
it's like cardboard to me almost like i do not find satisfaction in eating it at all <laughs> speaking of okay you know what's my biggest issue you know when i had that two week craze yeah because i would have a stomach ache every night <laughs> And you wouldn't that then that wouldn't stop you. No, because I still like. It. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I, I I really enjoy pizza. I, I love it so much. Though. Yeah, pizza is the greatest. Yeah. It's like, it is. It's and like what? whenever somebody told me like, what's your favorite safe to eat healthy option? I'll say pizza because like all four my, food groups. I know. I said like on it they have vegetable, meat. They have friggin like dairy like, carbs on grains. there. Dairy like you're not missing out on anything. So it's the healthiest yeah. choice. Yeah, it's got everything you need <laughs> in a balanced meal. <laughs> Maybe not balanced, but <laughs> for me, um, I used to eat the pizza pizza a lot because I was young, I was poor, so that was that was my go-to. But right now, in terms of chains, uh, Pizza Hut is a really good chain, but I I can't really consider it as chain because it's like I still think it's, it's sorry, a dining one? restaurant. Pizza Hut, it's still dining to me. It's not <laughs> wait, it's still a chain though. It is still a chain, but like I never ordered for takeout or delivery. You know, it's somewhere you have to go and sit in for. What, okay, what if so, the Pizza Hut didn't have seats? Is there a Pizza Hut without seats? Yes. Oh. They do have those, like, takeout ones. The one by uh, Birch Mountain <coughs> and uh, Birch Mountain and Danforth. Road. Oh, okay. I didn't know So, that. I mean, if if all of the Pizza Huts were like that or similar to it and they didn't have seats, I may consider Wait, ordering it, but, but then it's still expensive, But a lot of pizza, right? pizzas, they pizza, have seats. Pizza yeah. pizzas, together, pizza pizzas, they have a dine, dine-in experience. But nobody's coming up to you to take the order and stuff. You know, you're not getting that, seated. That pizza yeah, too. they do that at Pizza Hut. Oh, They're wow. so fancy. That is yeah. pretty fancy. And they have like the, the higher lunch. tier pizza. Yeah, chain. they have the lunch pizza buffet, all you can eat lunch. Um, for like eight ninety nine or something. Um mm-hmm. so yeah, Pizza Hut's really good. I really like Pizza Nova and yes, Pizza Nova. Pizza, pizza Nova's pizza Nova. Good. Someone <laughs> told me that's that's the closest you can get to uh Italian pizzas. Yeah, is Pizza that Nova true? is bomb. Like if you haven't had Pizza Nova you need to check it out. No, I haven't. Um, the, the commercials annoy me, so. <laughs> but it's so good. It's like super thin crust and it tastes healthy. You feel healthy eating it. Mm-hmm. And then my obvious favorite is Regino's. <laughs> I've been like a huge supporter of Regino's for like the past three or four years. When um, you say supporter, do you mean you just eat a lot of pizzas? Yeah, I eat a lot of pizzas, <laughs> but I eat a lot of Regino's specifically. And then when I moved to this area and there's one right around the corner, I was like the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I go to that place all the time. Uh, yeah, really sponsor us, please, Regina's. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. What do you think of it? I can't remember Chuck E. Cheese as a kid. I haven't um, even been to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, you've been robbed of your childhood too? I have. That's what I've everybody never been. tells me. I'm waiting for a little kid to invite me <laughs> so I can go one day. Okay, so. No kid likes me. I used to work at a place that was similar called Woody Woodchucks. Um, I, I thought that was a, a made up thing in t- american tv shows no there's there's a place there was one in mississauga and there was one in scarborough i worked in the miss scarborough one and uh that place closed down but it's basically chuck e cheese and i worked in the kitchen so i did all the pizzas and all the food for the parties and stuff like that but uh apparently it's like if you're the mascot yeah you get like molested huh. not by kids but by adults i normally think it's the other way around <clears throat> no, molesting. for some reason, well, I, at least at the place that I worked at, yeah, they always put girls in the mascot costumes, and the costumes are so Sexist. run down and everything like that. Like they're all worn out, and you can like there's areas where you can see through, and like the parents, the dads, would like molest the mascots. It's Weird. so messed like, up. Is it like very obvious where it is like one hand like you know on the ass and the other one on the chest area? I don't know how obvious it is because I worked in the kitchen, but I would hear stories from these other. Uh, police I worked on the, to the floor and I never really communicated with anyone because I worked by myself in the kitchen it can't be that bad if it keeps happening if it was that bad I'm assuming someone's going to report that's you know. why they closed down oh, yeah. <laughs> and the other thing is too like they all they all hired like students that are like yeah. high school kids and a lot of these high school kids were like they're afraid to speak up as well too you know and the managers that we had were pieces of shit so I actually only worked there for like three weeks yeah. before I quit because <laughs> like, wait so within the last three weeks <clears throat> there was that much molestation yeah, they they tell me about it. Yeah, because because I'm fuck. the only one that works in the kitchen. Yeah. So when they're hungry and stuff like that, they come to me and they get asked for food, right? What the fuck? And they, we would just chat and stuff. But when we have break, they come into the kitchen to have a break, right? So, it's really interesting. Um, I I was uh I, yeah I was only there for three weeks because like the managers were shitheads, man. They were like complete trash. I was like 15, 
my first job ever. Wait, you're and I, 15 and they they relied you in the kitchen by yourself? Yeah, I did one <laughs> shift. I did one shift. It was like a three hour yeah. shift. It's like where somebody it goes trained deeper me. Into your story, it's like it's getting more and more fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's super fucked up. And like back then, we were getting like what six seventy five for minimum wage. That was maybe students minimum wage too, because they weren't giving us yeah, the regular yeah, minimum. Yeah. They're giving us less. So, yeah, I, I worked one shift. My very first shift was, like, a three-hour shift, and I had somebody that was experienced train me. Yeah. And from that day on, I was by myself. Oh, man. That's crazy. Yeah. It was really fucked up. I was by myself. I'm, like, literally trying to figure out everything, right? <laughs> so, um, I ended up quitting on them, or like, on the job, because I was so fed up with their shit. And, uh, yeah, I guess they closed not too, not too long ago, a few years ago. But I heard that even before I joined them, they used to pay people out of paper bags. <laughs> I don't know if it's a true story or not, but whatever. So then, wow. Did you ever get a go at the mascots? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't stay long enough to make any connections. He's with f- he, he was fifteen. He was thinking all, about other stuff, like yeah. when he's getting home to game or something like that. And like, I didn't even. I didn't even need a job at the time. I just wanted to work. Oh. Uh, so Said no know. kid ever. I know. <laughs> Wait, it's better than drug dealing. Mm. Would have made me more money though. Would you do drug dealing at fifteen though? <clears throat> yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. a, that's, a, that's a respectable <laughs> occupation for a 50 year old. What was your first job, Ty? Hmm? I don't have a first job. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't officially work anywhere, I say. Yeah. Like, if there are things available, my friends, my family calls me to do something, I guess I do it for them. You're like but a like, freelance. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then I do it for free, too, so which is, like, I don't know. The free and freelance. Yeah. <laughs> yep, pretty much. What about you, Wayne? I think I sold ice cream. Where? Uh, I think... Baskin Robbins? No, no, no. It's um, it was for events. So I think it was for one company, and then companies, other like venues would hire them, and they shipped me over there in a the crate, and I sell ice cream. It wasn't very exciting. I was uh, I sold ice cream at the... Was it called the Bebo Field? No, the Rexall Center, where they had the, the tennis uh, games. Okay, sure, mm-hmm. yeah. And I think... What is the big name back then? Is it Andy Roddick? Um, no. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't remember his I think name. it was Andy Roddick. Maybe. So I th- some you know, some handsome dude, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know what he looks like, but apparently whenever he walked by, he'll have a trail of girls chasing him. <laughs> like, like, the girl that was, like, standing next to me, selling ice cream, she'll look at the crowd, and I would be like, just go. <laughs> <laughs> just go. <laughs> right? So she'll start running and screaming. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is pretty funny. Okay, so speaking of like eating stuff, uh, there's also uh, recently the CNN anchor, I think his name is Reza Azlan. Doesn't matter uh, how we pronounce it. Tal kind of knows about this story. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about this? Oh, is it that reporter guy that uh, attended a uh, kind of like a the Hindu Hindu tribal ceremony? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that was. <laughs> That's interesting, actually. I mean, I like the fact that he came and then he tried to stay for the. Uh, I thought, I the thought sim- you were gonna say you like the fact that he ate brains. <laughs> no, no, that's weird for me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Each to their own taste. <laughs> but um, he he kind of respect the culture, you know. He didn't try to be like act uh, acted all gross, although he was pretty uncomfortable putting that headband on. Right. The headband with like made out human skull and teeth and stuff. I like think that. I could do that. Over eating, yeah, like human parts, yeah. Yeah, but I guess he was more uncomfortable putting the teeth on because he ate the brains. So wait, wait which what? one did he do first? Did uh, he, put... he? They they put the headband on him first. Oh yeah, of... once you get there, then it's like it's like man, this is not that bad. After this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you kind of inching your way towards it. It's like wait, yeah, wait. I already got the foot in the door. Wait, uh, was it cooked at least? No, it no, was I think raw. it's raw. They, yeah. uh, oh my god, they they were a. Cannibalism, like uh, try. Doesn't mean they can't cook it. <laughs> like what the hell? Well, you, you eat your steak fairly raw. It's still cooked. <laughs> it's steak to them, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you? How much would it take for you to eat a human brain? How much money? Oh, brains in general. Just human brain first. Okay, sure. Brains in general. That's that's an easy question. But human brain though. Yeah. What's the difference? Well, We're animals, know, right? In... So if you think about it this way, no, you're there's just a, like <laughs> there's an Indian restaurant. I think they're Indian, Indian. I'm not sure. I don't want to, might be racist for calling them Indian. <laughs> Whatever, Indian restaurant. <clears throat> but the, restaurant. They have a dish called um, brain masala. Brain masala. Yeah, made out of pork brain. Right? Beef brain. Beef brain. Okay. Yeah. And because I asked them, is it any good? 
right? Because I was wondering. Of course, I'm gonna say it is good. No, but no, he he was honest and said it's an acquired taste. Okay, so it probably tastes like shit. Did you try it? No, I'm not gonna waste my money. I'd rather get the tikka masala oh. or something like okay, tikka sure. masala. Because I'm, I'm 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 out to have fun. <laughs> Right? You don't want to know about the calories of the brain. Yeah. Like, <laughs> then you're you're Vietnamese, I guess. Like, have you ever heard of the? Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Cause it's like a it's like a Vietnamese delicacy. Kind like of like you're Vietnamese, so I <laughs> guess you eat a lot of peanuts. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. Have you heard of the pig brain soup or whatever? Like so, they would sell it on the street in like little kiosk kind of cart. I've and never heard of that town. from a Vietnamese culture, mm-hmm. but just recently. I've heard about Sichuanese people eating pig brains. What's the hell's a Sichuanese? Sichuan. Oh, Sichuan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Sichuan. So Sichuanese, um, they eat pig brains as well. So I don't know if it's the same kind of dish, uh, but I know Sichuan oh, no, people eat very spicy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I've not, I didn't know that Vietnamese people do that. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Have no, you tried? It's just, it's just I brain. have actually. Is it good? Uh, it's very, very fatty. Wait, it's, it's just, an it's just, it's just the brain, yeah. though, right? It's just the brain. I don't know. Can you describe what no, it looks like? I don't know. Wait, is it true? Because I remember a long time ago I heard um, the delicacy in Japan mm-hmm. is eating the brain of a monkey or some sort of primate. That's Chinese as well. That's also Chinese. But it's because they, they want to be Japanese or something. <laughs> They're trying to act cool. So it's like it's a uh, monkey brain yeah. right out of the monkey while it's on your table. Yeah, yeah actually there's that's a Chinese. video about that. That's nasty as hell. So it's true. Okay, so. Okay, so the, yeah, it is alive when they show you. You can still see like moving and stuff like that but then they cook it uh no what? they actually clip the monkey's head yeah and then there's a hole on the table yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and then they kind of chop off the lobe yeah, and the then lobotomy. they just dig in like that because because my aunt uh was in china and that's what she explained to me that she saw so maybe they do it different ways but yeah they they show the head they show the brain inside the skull and then they cook it after but yeah. she never tried it they, they were like trying to convince her to Is try. Is it weird that this make me a little hungry? <laughs> what? I don't know. I was just going to say, like, we just finished eating, and now we're talking about shit like this. It's making Still me eating. sick. Do yeah. you ever suck the brain out of fish heads? Out of a what? Fish heads. Well, I eat the entire fish. So yeah. So I'm sure that brain was somewhere. I don't even know fish heads, like... Like, I eat the eye, too. Because I eat the eye. Yeah. I eat all the skin. You suck on the fish skull, and you suck the brain out. No, I, well, Pretty I good. suck. I suck the... <laughs> I sucked the bo- I got like, everything in the head. That's gonna be a sound bite until something goes in my mouth. That's perfect. But Billy's gonna love that when he gets back. Okay. Right. Uh, well, back to the 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 reporter. I mean, would you guys do it? I mean, it's a required job, right? He he has to do it. Did he have to? I think so. He was there, and he had to make like an episode about you know. No, he didn't have to. He would have been on the headline just I think being he, no. offered break. I guess so, yeah. He must have gotten like, a pretty good pay for it. If I feel like he did it for his dedication to the job. And that's what mm. real journalism should be. Mm-hmm. N- not eating whatever. <laughs> sort of, that, that Indian tribe dude, or Hindu tribe guy, it's probably like, fuck, he actually did it. Oh. It's like it's playing a joke on him. Like, <laughs> you've, you've been praying. And Ashley Kutcher jumps off on the back. Actually, there was one part where he was talking to, like, you know, the camera. And then there was one of the tribe men that was saying, like, I'll kill you. You talk too much. Oh, what? Fuck. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it was on there. And that was so scary. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Yeah. <clears throat> but the guy's so skinny. I don't think he can fight me. What is the nastiest thing you guys have ever eaten? Pasta and pizza, pierogi pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, for real? Um... Like, wait, wait, when you say nasty, like, you mean nasty, like, if I were to tell someone? Yeah, like, gross. But it still tastes delicious. Sure, it could taste delicious. Or, or fine, give us both or something. Mm, I, I like a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, what happened in China? Oh, something that most people don't like, like when I tell them about it, it's called, I'm not sure what they're actually called, but a direct translation it's called uh, sandworms. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of it? I, I know what it is. That's actually no. it's literally it looks like a, a long worm. Yeah. Uh, you put in soup and stuff, right? No. Sometimes. Like in Canada, because we don't have it. Yeah. Uh, it's normally um, imported dried. So w- yeah. what did you do is you like fry it. it. No, fry in oil, what? and you eat it while you're drinking beer. Oh, I've it's, had. So it's it. like a chip. I've had it in soups before, where you you would rehydrate it, and you cook it in soups, but it's like it's super sandy. That's why they call it sandworms. Like it's no, grainy? It's, yeah, no, it's not grainy when you eat it. I don't think I had one in Sandy. Yo, man. You well, if you're frying it, it's going to yeah, be you the gotta, same. You need to get the sand out of your worms, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's no sand. And then in, but when I was in China, when I, like, I saw it fresh. Okay. I had it steamed. 
Oh, it was it was it was it was different. Maybe I'm eating something else, but it it was a worm and it was really sandy. <laughs> you gotta get the sand out of your. <laughs> <laughs> I was offered dog before. Oh my god! Well, did you eat it? No, my wife already answered for me before I could say yes. No, I, I would have said no. I would have said no. Fuck that. When I was in China, uh, I went to a restaurant that did have dog meat, mm-hmm. but I ordered a beef noodle soup. I don't know if I ate beef or not. <laughs> you never so, know what they give you. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I ate beef. Well. For me, most nasty thing I've ever eaten is like, uh, well, I used this was when I was back in elementary school, and we always go by this like uh, bow place that has like the buns. Yeah. And like the human buns. buns? <laughs> no, but it was rat meat inside. What? Yeah, and like wait, later wait, on. Intentional. Wait, did you order rat buns? No, though? no, no. <laughs> we wanted just normal pork buns, and then I so- love the Mickey Mouse bun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nasty, but yeah, and then like we we we. We were really loyal to that place. We came back like many, many years and like we kept eating there until the police busted that place and found out that all the buns oh, were made out shit. of red meat. So like, Wait, I guess were you I, loyal because the buns were delicious? It was really good. So then what's the so problem? What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> it's a rat meat. I don't know how many 24 different kind of eights and was in there, but you know, you never know. Damn. Yeah, it was nasty. <clears throat> Funny story <laughs> about like weird foods so, though. Um, I have an aunt who... Uh, like, they were from Vietnam as well, too, and they, they left uh, during the Vietnam War. Mm-hmm. So it's about, like, 30-something years, 30-plus years, right? And uh, my family came over to Canada. Uh, her side of the family, they went to Australia. And she doesn't know any English or anything like that. And I guess the area where she went to, there's still other a uh, few other Asian people there as well, too. And she would go to the grocery stores to go buy her groceries and stuff like that. And she would, uh, she would see these cans of meat, and it's like, oh, my God, they have dog meat here. She ate dog food? <laughs> I'm assuming that's oh. where it's going. Yeah, that's basically oh where it's going. Oh my god. So, this would be for months, okay? Months. <laughs> it's like, this dog food is so good. I mean, dog meat is so good. And then one day, she bumped into a friend at the grocery store, and she's like, why are you buying so much of this? And it's like, oh, because the dog meat is really cheap, and it's good. And it's like, you should buy it. And they're like, oh, that's actually dog food. The canned dog you know, food. To be oh fair, my god. To be fair, why, what I've heard is, um, the regulations to make dog food is probably a lot better than human food. Apparently, because they have, like, food, like, dog food taster. As a job too, do you guys know? I don't see I've like. I've heard about that. I don't, okay, oh. that's the I'm worst pretty job sure ever. there's probably no problem with it. They're not gonna like put some sort of hormones to make you grow a tail <laughs> or something, right? But like apparently you get a really good pay at that job, and, and that's like the worst job ever. And they they, they <laughs> have like a because you, when people ask what do you do, you have to say I eat dog food. <laughs> that's why you get paid a lot. That's true. Speaking of which, like I had a my brother-in-law. Um, well, what do you call your brother-in-law's brother? Wait, you wait, your brother in law's bro- The brother of your brother in law. Oh, so it's your like your sister's husband's brother. Yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah, call him yeah. th- your in law You call husband. him by his first name. <laughs> That's what you call him. Okay, so Tim. <laughs> so so Tim, he uh he used to work at Maple Leaf Prime, uh, like a meat company in Canada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um his job title uh, it was the funniest thing, he worked there as a student and I think they were trolling him. Because they gave his student summer student title as uh, Sausage Stuffer. <laughs> sausage Stuffer. This is the funniest shit ever. Oh. You have to put on your resumes and stuff like that. Be better. Next time he goes to ice cream factory, and he'll be Fudge Packer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, yeah, it was super fun talking about food and everything like that. Pizza. Tao, do you have anything you want to plug away before we uh, wrap it up? Follow my Shiba Inu on Instagram, please. That's you have a Shiba Inu? You didn't I tell me it was do. a Shiba Inu. I have a Shiba Inu. A and black Shiba Inu. He looks exactly like those. black too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I just learning about this now? <laughs> uh, yeah, so his Instagram is uh, Olaf the Shiba on Instagram. So please follow him. He's like funny. That's right. He's funny? <laughs> yes, he's very funny. Is, is he an asshole? I heard Shiba Inus are Actually, like, he of is. Um, I, like, I they were training. Than cats. I was training my German Shepherd today, and then like he didn't Does get. Does your German any... Shepherd have an Instagram? Uh yeah, it's Tracer the G S D German <laughs> Shepherd dog. Yeah, I know I'm I'm so weird. I make Instagram for my dogs, and I promote it more than I promote it's my okay. own Instagram. I, I've, <laughs> I've I've seen people with dog Facebook or whatever. And I'm, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Except for Boo, Boo's pretty damn cute. Who? Oh, Boo. It's the Boo. Pomeranian. Do you not know Boo? No. It's got a nice haircut. Like, it has dogs. a really nice haircut. Like, it looks like a flute ball. But I've known other people. 
<laughs> but yeah, I like as I was saying, I was training Tracer today, and she was she was just being a good girl, sitting down and stuff. Olaf came by, and I didn't want to give him any treat because I'm not training him. And he came by. He literally just used his hand and knocked the entire football off my hand. And, <laughs> Dropped him to the floor and he just walked away like an asshole. Uh, he is. What a douchebag. He is a douchebag. You know? uh, he's a boy. Damn, I can't call it a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Follow us on Facebook, iTunes, where else? Instagram, Twitter. You can also download the full podcast on our archive.org page. And don't forget to subscribe to us so that you can get uh, updates on YouTube. We upload a few times a week highlights, one time a week for our uh, full podcast. And if you guys have any suggestions on what we should talk about and stuff, leave it in the comments below. Yes. Uh, and if you like pineapple pizza, let us know because you're cool. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up if you like pineapple on your pizza. Thanks, guys. Peace. Laters. Later. Later.